I wanted to do a video with our prep for Honey's birthday. So Honey's gonna be four on September. So today is Wednesday. I have, <laughs> I have two more days to get everything organized and I still have not started. Um, well, a lot, I kind of started because I um, organized a cake by my friend who does the cakes for the kids. So I have it organized, but I do have some stuff to drop off for her. And I did order the balloons for her. But other than that, I have no gifts organized. I have no plates, no napkins. I still need to buy the ice cream and all that stuff. So what I did today, I actually made a party prep dump list of what it is that I need to get done and what I would like to feel uh, what like my to-do list of what I have to get done and I what I thought today to do as well is like to do a list of the things that um would make me feel anxious overwhelmed or just not happy that I didn't get done so instead of just doing a to-do list do a list where I, of the things that I really want to see happen, you know what I mean? Um, and see if there's any, this is the first time I'll be doing a list like that, to be honest. Usually I just say things to do, but if it is that, for example, the table has no tablecloth on it on the day of her birthday, and I, or the balloons aren't blown up, or that, those are bad examples. Um, I can't think about it, but, 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 but basically, like anything that I would not like to have happen or... Oh, here's a perfect example. The cushions in the living room from our old couch. I don't want those there on Saturday. I want it to be clean. So if those are still there, it will frustrate me. It will bother me. So that will be on the list. So, you know, let's just try that. If it works, it works. I'll let you guys know. If not, then maybe I'll try it again one more time and see if it works. I don't know. We'll see. But anyways, okay. So... First step is to have the part prep. I need to go and order some stuff on Amazon. So that is what I'm going to do now. Well, no, I like, I'm going to have dinner and then I'm going to order the stuff on Amazon. So I'll take you guys with me when I go. I'll show you guys what I'm going to order. And um, in case you don't know yet, the theme this year is going to be unicorns. <laughs> um, she literally said, I want the same cake as last year. So. She's going to get the same unicorn cake that she got last year. Um, we Seth, Both Seth and I tried to ask her many times if she wanted frozen, if she sure she wanted unicorns, or no, we didn't ask if she was sure she wanted unicorns. We asked her if she wanted frozen, if she wanted mermaids, if she wanted narwhals, you know, to kind of like tweak it a little bit. But no, she said, I want the same unicorn cake. I said, if y'all know Lexi, y'all know how that sounds. I said, I want a unicorn cake. <laughs> so a unicorn cake is what that child will get. And we will go with it. And I um, I would love to be the parent that does like above and beyond like craziness. But honestly, I have scaled back a lot on what I do. And of course, because of uh, the pandemic, um, we can't have a lot of people over and um we have them in the driveway but you know it really was a time to get to pull back but so all the things that i'm doing i want to make sure it's done really really well and really really nice so um let's get to party prepping say hi say a nice hi now this is gonna be a my um, youtube video dude okay okay relax chill hello give me a basis okay mom okay. can i so before I started anything, I needed to prepare dinner. I am making coleslaw and a Beyond Burger. It is super simple to make. I have actually shared this coleslaw recipe on my YouTube channel. I could link it below for you guys, but it really is my go-to. I just put some cheese on top of it. That's some Monterey pepper jack cheese that I put on top of it. And of course, honey is all over me while I eat dinner. Of course, I saw about the kids as well. Um, Seth had a Beyond Burger and macaroni and Lexi had macaroni and cheese. After dinner, I went downstairs to the office and I went to order the things on Amazon that I needed to get. I needed to get a few gifts for her because at this point, I have nothing for her. So I am scrolling and searching for some epic gifts. And we hopped in the car and went to my friend's house, um, my friend Melanie, who does the cakes for the kids for our birthdays. And 
this car conversation was just so hilarious i just had to share it with you guys it was a really nice you know downtime and just focused on listening to the kids having conversations with them and then observing the gorgeous sunset so <laughs> happy listening But Lexi, do you know bees make honey? Yeah. You'd know that? Yeah. You knew that? Yeah. Do you know who loves honey? Yeah. Who? Honey. Um, bugs. Bugs love honey? Yeah. Seth, do you know who loves honey? Yep. Who? Honey. Yes! <laughs> oh my goodness, my, my Setho. Not the poo, Winnie the poo. Pooh bear. Pooh bear loves honey. He eats honey from a honey pot. No. Yeah. yeah. No. Lexi. Lexi does love honey. Yes, I know bugs love honey, but. Yeah. He went and got you the ice pack. He asked you if you no, needed it. Oh my yeah, but he, it was a mistake. Lexi, do you see the sky? How pretty, Seth? Do you see the clouds? How pretty? Lexi, what color are the clouds? What color are the clouds? prep days to go lots to get done but i will get it done last night was super successful dropping off the decorations for my friend melanie she's going to prepare the cake for us and 
we are going to collect it on saturday i am just getting ready to do my morning routine i come downstairs i open the blind so i get some natural light inside i pick up my devotional and my journal and i head out oh and my pre-workout of course and i head out the door to sit on the porch while we have this amazing sunshine i love sitting down out here have some me time some quiet time while the kids are still asleep you'll see that i'm sipping on my energize while i read my devotional and do my journaling this is something i do in the mornings once i am finished my journaling and my devotional i go inside and i push play on my workout and get it done this morning i remember being so so happy while i was doing my journaling my gratitude my goals my dreams i could see that i'm smiling i was just really really happy this is such an important part of my morning and my day. two days away <laughs> good morning i um just did my morning practices of de my devotional so what i was reading was um i'm finishing off this i started a while ago and i haven't finished it yet so it's 100 quiet moments for moms to meet with jesus so it's called called pressing pause so that's the one i use and then i journal so i use um Gabriel Bernstein super tractor journal uh, and I journal in here my gratitude for the day for the morning and then my dreams that I am making come true my no matter what dreams and just having a place to focus for the day and then um, I also have my pre that I'm drinking as well because my brain has so much stuff happening i have so much stuff in here i want to do so many things i went down a creative rabbit hole last night of like ideas of things to do for the coming fall season and i just went um but anyways so let's go along i uh, the first thing i have to do i went sorry Ooh, words so the reason I mentioned that is because when I feel overwhelmed, when I feel like I just have so much to do, I cannot focus. Um, I am a multi-passionate creative, which makes it very difficult to focus my creative thoughts. And I am working very, very um, intentionally to narrow down and channel that energy so that it doesn't become like an imposter syndrome where I have so many ideas so many amazing things I want to do but never accomplish any of them so my idea my focus is to have all the amazing ideas jot it down put it down and have like a plan in place so that I can get them done if I don't get all of them done it's fine but the fact is that I was actually able to accomplish some of the stuff that I have cooked up inside of this brain or that were inspired by someone else or something else or whatever to actually get it done so i am going to do my workout now and um that is my anchor that's what helps me focus that's what helps me channel and once i'm done my workout then i'll be able to like jot down what i have to do today when i have to get it done and um yeah because tomorrow is the last day we don't want to be doing too much tomorrow as in go having to go anywhere we want to be able to do all the things that have to be done in the house tomorrow uh and then of course well my day job so i do everything else in between the day job and yeah i just don't like or want to feel overwhelmed rushed flustered or any of those kind of feelings so i can control that by having a plan and making um you know just taking these steps one step at a time to get what i have envisioned in here come out into reality so i'll take you along oh no before i go inside i now remember i have to do so these are my head my airpods i am going to do two meditations um i have some four minute meditations based off of some affirmations that i have 
uh, their I am affirmation. So it will be, for example, I am joyful, I am uh, grateful, I am resilient, I am patient. And the cards that I pull, so if you've been following me since last year, you would know that I was obsessed with these cards. I still am. I still use them today. And I have four minute meditations that are based off of each one. So I want to make sure I do that. That is another way of centering and calming my mind. Even though I have a lot of creative thoughts and craziness happening up here, if I'm able to just take a moment to be still and to be quiet, which is why I like to come outside here and let the sun just bask in my, on me because that also helps me just yes it energizes me but it gives me a chance to just kind of settle it's kind of kind of weird i wonder can you relate to, like could you relate to that but so i'm gonna do my meditation now i love this sun actually wasn't out when i first came out so it's really nice that it's up now it's up in her glory let me see if you could see it again get the camera to focus a little bit where did she go there hopefully Oh well, she's gorgeous. Anyways, and you can see it off of me, right? Like it's growing off of me. Uh, so I'm gonna do that, then I'm gonna do my workout and then I will get to it. And I will of course take you along all the day because this is a video all about planning and prepping for Honey's birthday. So let's get this show on the road. So I wanted to run into Winners quickly to see if I could get some stuff to decorate Honey's room because Adam and I spoke and I had this amazing idea to decorate her room for her to make it more honey-like and to make it more cozy and comfortable for her to enjoy. So this was a very last minute thing that I had um, come up in my head and so I went to Winners to see if I could find anything that I could used to decorate her room and i could use that as potential gifts for her the real idea actually was to decorate her room and surprise her on her birthday but that just because i got the idea so late like it would not have worked out time wise and i would have just drove, driven myself crazy so i'm just gonna see what i can find for her so they actually had some really cute stuff I got this comforter set, so it's like a comforter, a couple of pillows with some ballerinas on it. It's super cute, but I was not able to get the actual sheet. They have like a bunch of different sheets, but they don't have that actual print. So I'll just kind of have to roll with what I have. Uh, of course, she's getting a little distracted with a little DJ panda. Like this DJ super cute, like super, super music. cute. That is so cute. The next stop was Party City. I went to order a number four rose gold balloon, which we'd pick up tomorrow. There she is getting distracted. Party City had started to put out their Halloween stuff, so the kids definitely got distracted with those things. No, we didn't take them home. <laughs> so I'm here looking for the unicorn theme. Um, these kids just were having a time seeing all the stuff, being mesmerized. They don't really go out into stores, to be very honest, because of the pandemic, it's just been, you know, like a crazy rush of emotions going into stores and stuff. So today we had to go into the stores and they just enjoyed being in Party City. I mean, what kid wouldn't? There's just so much stuff to watch. Uh, so what I was able to get here were the napkins, the plates and the number four balloon. So I was happy. Good morning. Happy Friday. <sighs> okay. Yesterday was extremely successful. Um, oh my gosh. Is it hot by you guys? Because like this last week up here in Canada, um, in Ontario specifically, we've had like heat warning. So it's been high 30s, feels like 40. And so yesterday, like, oh my gosh, it was so hard to breathe. Like it felt the, the heaviness on my chest. Anyways, all I'd say, that's how I felt when I went out. But I got um, balloon ordered. I got um, some gifts that I needed to pick up for her and um, we're good. I think we're good to go because some of the, the Amazon stuff that I ordered came in. So today is extra, extra prep. So tons of cleaning. This entire, entire house, room, everything needs to clean. 
all that needs to clean the living room specifically needs to clean and it's not necessarily because anybody's coming it's because it just needs to get done um, that's very top priority and then i have to figure out where i'm gonna set up because i usually do like uh, one area where all the gifts are the balloons are and have each kid go towards that space in the, in the morning of their birthday so it's like oh wow um <laughs> so that's something i've just started and i just do every year so we have to find a space for that because we had to rearrange the area and the, the stuff in the living room so the space that i used last year i can't use again this year so we'll uh, figure that out. I also got um, like a balloon garland that I'm going to start working on today. I have to wrap all the gifts, but you know how life happens. I woke up this morning with plans of because, hold on, let's backtrack a little bit. Yesterday, after I did all that, I came home. I did get a massage yesterday because I had it booked. And after my massage, between the massage and the heat, I just knocked out. I knocked out. I was so tired. Usually, when I get a massage or to get um, like treatments from my chiropractor, um i like acupuncture and all that stuff i get i get fatigued so i'm tired so i was exhausted last night so my plan to get stuff done didn't happen i put them to bed early -ish yesterday but i didn't wake back up so i said okay this morning wake up early get stuff done my girl decides to wake up with me and then once me she's literally clingy today this is her last day of her Dude, yeah, and she is super clingy. She's coming right now. So I haven't been able to like get any gifts wrapped or anything like that. So that is going to be a task. But if I can't do that yet, I'm going to do what I can with her around, which is the cleaning and the getting everything sorted out and whatever. So we'll get that done. I just have to finish my breakfast. <clears throat> you want to sing anything? No? Okay. Well, we'll see you guys in a bit. <laughs> Wish me luck. These are the balloon kits that I ordered off of Amazon. They're from a company called Shimmer and Confetti. I have two kits because this one, which is a pastel colors, was actually supposed to come today and I could not risk it not coming in time. So I ordered both colors. This one is more like a mermaid type color scheme where they have the dark purple, they have teal and they're both really really pretty you get like a foil balloon with them a big foil unicorn balloon some small foil balloons as well and a ton of little latex balloons if you guys want to see a video of me showing you the kits and doing like a review on the kits i'll be happy 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 to do that so please just let me know in the comments below if that's something that you would love to watch and be interested in So honey did get distracted and gave me a chance to prepare lunch. I actually whipped up something really quick. I did eggs and sausage, which I think you can have those not only at breakfast time, you can have that at any time of the day. So no judgments there, but we really enjoyed it. It was super delicious. I did veggies with mine as well, and the kids just devoured it. everybody is full and we had a delicious lunch so lexi's now upstairs watching tv and it's time for me to sneak downstairs and try to get as much as i could get done while she is distracted so i'm going through all the packages that came from amazon thank god for amazon because my in-laws my parents my sister-in-law everybody can buy stuff and just send it straight to the house then i just wrap it up and get it ready I got this really cute glitter pastel color wrapping paper that um, I saw at Winners. So I wrapped everybody's gifts up in those and anything that couldn't fit in it, I put it in some gift bags that we had from past years. Oh, she came downstairs. Oh my gosh. And I'm like hiding everything quickly. Okay, she left me. So I just wrapped a few more and then I ran out of tape. So now I have to go get some tape. <laughs> this is where she was originally watching her mickey mouse and i have no more tape so i can't wrap any more gifts so it's on to the next thing that i can do which is clean up this entire living room get this living room cleaned up prepared and ready to go as i said nobody's coming up but i just want it to be clean
moved all the cushions and I've swept so now I am going to mop I use warm water to mop and I use this mr. clean um, floor cleaner and I actually really like how it works and how it smells it's not too toxic or anything like that so I throw some warm water in a bucket and a splash of it inside of the bucket and I take it upstairs to mop am yes i managed to get some sleep don't worry i got all the gifts wrapped and ready to go so now i can start working on the balloons i'm going through the box to see what sizes i have what colors i have etc my friend lent me her pump so blowing up the balloons was actually pretty cool pretty quick um they did give me some tools to use to tie the balloons but i found like it was a bit too tricky so i just used my hands while i was blowing them up though i did love how they were all looking just laid out on the floor so i actually got the idea um to have some spread on the floor as well as making the garland and because i think she would just love how that looks so that is my thought process right now we'll see how it goes like look at how cool this looks can you imagine the nylon to string the balloons together I did blue then pink then purple then yellow then green then purple I wasn't sure exactly how I wanted to string them there were pictures on the Amazon profile when I was buying it but when I looked at it I think I was just confusing myself it had too many options and I was like let me just go with what I feel like what our space is and just go with the flow so putting the balloons together was simple. I tied two together and then another two together and then I tied those pairs together and I made a set of four or like a bundle of four and then I just wrapped it around the nylon. The nylon actually was super easy to use and it was super quick just wrap 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 and then you're done. The kit did come with some extra tools that I will share in a video when I do the review of it but I found the nylon to be super simple super easy. So, yeah. If it's gonna work when we go upstairs, I have no idea, but we'll see. We're just going with the flow. The ones that are strung together, it made it so much easier to take upstairs. All the rest I have to take upstairs in handfuls. What I had planned is not what ended up happening, but I got this amazing idea to create a sea of balloons for her. I think she's gonna love it. I did stick the unicorn and a few of the stars on the wall for her. I am so excited for when she wakes up. I can't wait to see her reaction. Give a hug. 
hug and a kiss? Give Seth a hug and a kiss. Wasn't that the cutest reaction ever? A lot of balloons yeah. made everything totally worth it. I loved her reaction. I cannot stop watching it enough. Yeah. She had an amazing birthday. She loved all her gifts. She loved the balloons uh, most of all. Yeah. And then she was able to cut cake with her friends. We had some of the friends in our neighborhood come over yeah. and cut cakes, and they were all cut cake, and they were all in the driveway. Um, I did not show clips of that because I wanted to respect our neighbors and our friends and you know keep them off of video unless I had their permission so she had an absolute blast she was able to wear her unicorn dress she also wore her unicorn bathing suit and she just had a time so it was super super nice to see them excited i have a lot of fun ideas for videos coming up for september i am going to do a balloon review as one of them so if you want to see the kit that i got and the tips that i have that i figured out along the way i will definitely be doing a video so you make sure to come back and check for that video if you like this video and you enjoyed coming and preparing with me then give this video a thumbs up thanks again for watching and taking time to spend with me as i prepare for honey's birthday until the next one guys bye oh don't forget to hit the subscribe button <laughs> hit the subscribe button give this video a thumbs up and i'll see you guys soon again bye